In this video, I'll discuss how to attribute videos in Canvas. First, what is attribution? Well, to attribute information means to give credit to its author or producer. And just as we ask our students to attribute information, we should do the same. It's just good information ethics, and it's great modeling for your students. In this video, I'll focus on how to attribute YouTube videos, both openly licensed and those with a standard YouTube license. You can use the same method, however, to attribute videos from other sites like Vimeo or sites that carry exclusively open videos like TED Talks, for example. If you'd like a guide to open video websites, take a look at TCC Library's OER Guide for Faculty. Find it from the library's homepage under the For Faculty tab and Open Educational Resources. You'll find all sorts of great OER information in this guide, but for this topic, let's look at the Find OER tab and specifically the Images, Audio, and Video page. In the Where to Find Open Video and Multimedia box, you'll see a number of sites where you can search for open videos. For now, though, let's turn our attention back to YouTube. YouTube videos are licensed with either a standard YouTube license or a Creative Commons Open license. How do you know what type of license a YouTube video carries? Well, under each video, there's an option to show more. If the video is licensed under a Creative Commons license, it will say so. If it doesn't mention anything about licensing, then you know that that video carries a standard YouTube license. Let's first attribute a YouTube video with a Creative Commons license. I'm in Canvas now and have already logged in and found a page to edit. I'm currently in edit mode. I've also already found and embedded a YouTube video on my Canvas page, the one that carries a Creative Commons license. Now I'm ready to attribute this video. In the rich text editor, click on the small caret and choose Open Attribution Builder. Fill out the appropriate information about the video. For videos, all we need is the title and author, and we can get that straight from the YouTube video page. The Builder also requires you to choose an attribution. Since this video is licensed with a Creative Commons license, I can select the correct license here. Let's take a look at the video again. If we scroll down, we can see that the video is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution License, more specifically a CC BY non-commercial license. Basically, this means that we have permission to reuse this video without restraint, as long as it's for non-commercial uses. So let's go back to our attribution and select the appropriate license. Now select Insert Attribution. The attribution now appears under the video. Save, and that's it. You have a properly attributed YouTube video. What if the video had carried a standard YouTube license instead of a Creative Commons license? You would follow the same steps, but with a few changes. So back in edit mode, let's pretend that this video had carried a standard YouTube license, and let's attribute it. When using the Open Attribution Builder, you would still fill out the basic information about the video, like title and author. But when it's time to choose an attribution, there's not a choice for a standard YouTube license. So for now, since it's required by the Builder, select any license and then select Insert Attribution. We can edit this information out in just a second. The attribution now appears under the video. Simply delete the incorrect license information at the end and type Standard YouTube License. Save. And that's it. You now know how to attribute both openly licensed videos and specifically YouTube videos that carry the standard YouTube license. If you have any questions about this process, please contact the library.